Hello, my Mystic Tribe. This is Mystic Jen, and this is your daily reading for November 30th, 2020. This is a general read. Just so you know, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Just take the bits and pieces that do and leave the rest behind. And if you're new to my channel, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I do upload often. And just about every day I upload a video. Okay? And you don't want to miss it. And for those, um, the two people, Array of Faith and Mary Billy, if I will be getting your readings up real soon. They were the winners of the drawing that I, I was having on my live feed for, um, for everybody that did a super chat, was entered into a drawing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Messages and guidance, please. We have messages in a bottle. Really? Uh, messages in a bottle seems to be like something that comes out of the blue. It comes something long distance. So you might be hearing from somebody that is far away. Um, it doesn't even have to be in the physical world. It might even be in the spiritual world. Um, yeah, uh, this is somebody that you have not heard from in a while. And it's like communications had gone dead. And it's like you're going to possibly receive the sudden message going the distance. Okay. When you, just when you thought, think that something was done over with, they disappeared, right? Here they are. Okay. We've got two cards that turned over immediately and I'm going to take them. Ace of water, ace of cups, 10 of earth. Wow. Okay. Let's get one more card, please. And the world. Okay, this is a successful completion. This is like a time of celebration. Okay, the world card um, brings about harmony and balance and fulfillment here. So it looks like something is being fulfilled. It feels like destiny is being fulfilled. A situation or a relationship that you thought was done and over with is coming back alive because you are going to hear from this person that you thought this was dead for a long time, but they want to come back and they want to bring things back alive. They want to start over. They want a clean slate. They want a new path with you and they are promising you stability and long-term growth and they are willing to go the distance and you know, put the path cycle behind them is what I'm getting that they want. Okay, let's see what other messages comes up. This might be a short reading. Because it seems like it's just flowing here. Ooh, okay. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they, they abandoned you. Or, ah, uh, and the Sun. You know, this is the ending of a bad situation. An ending of hurt and pain. They want to make things right. The Sun card brings about healing and nurturing. They want to put the work in now. You have to decide if it's too late or not. But they are willing to go the distance. They want to make this work. They want to make things right. Ten of Earth. We have <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. The first thing that the Spirit draws my eye to is the fact that one and two is three. Three of Pentacles energy is here as well. They want to work with you as a team. And she's sitting here in between her two Pentacles. It might be, um, you know, kind of like a, at a crossing point where you're ready to cross that finish line with this person. And she looks quite stable and happy here. The world card is reminding me of we've got the world and the moon, the planets, everything coming into alignment. Feels like planetary alignment here. But we got ace here and an ace here. This is like a brand new start that somebody wants. They're giving you an offer and yep. And if you look there, there's that bird in the sky. Um, almost feels like that they have some kind of message here. 
and there's definitely two but you have control over those pentacles um you're juggling yourself you're walking on a tight rope and i think that if this person hasn't already come back or if they have already come back let me put it that way i think that you've been juggling the decision back and forth of not not really committing because of a past hurt and pain but they are very i feel this person's very sincere trying to make amends here um five of cups two of swords there's definitely a sense of regret i think they regret leaving you and not seeing the bigger picture and again we got two twos here this is choices and decisions and i think from what spirit is showing me the balls in your court we do also have the devil card here you could be dealing with a capricorn not saying that you are but this is like um the devil is negative thoughts negative beliefs negative blockages um and it feels like um that with that devil card there's a lot of doubt here and there's a lot of fear that fear and that doubt is what's holding you back from this restart got the ace of cups again and the two of wands We've got all these twos two 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 choices decisions change okay and then we look around here um there's definitely some sort of decision that has to be made because there is definitely an ending coming ending a new beginning we've got two tens here and we have new paths with a couple aces three aces one 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 i do feel like this is the divine working its magic the divine trying bringing you guys back together and this time around it does have the potential to go the distance and be stable, secure for the long term. I'm not sure what more I can say on that. Uh, we've got justice card. This is somebody trying to make the right decision. And knowing that they are on the right path. And, you know, weighing the scales out. You could be dealing with a Libra. But this is doing what's right. They want to do what's right. They want to do the right thing. What they know is right. They are regretful for their actions. They regret what they did to you. And you may already have your mind made up because you, you're, you, ha you have the world in your hand. The world is your oyster right now. And you're holding on to one of the options and letting something go. I think this is a decision. I think this is a choice between moving forward, giving them a second chance, and or holding on to the pain of the past. And keeping yourself captured in that negative mindset. I think those are your choices there. Um, there could be a third option because we do have a, the three of pentacles energy here. And that could be, you know, releasing the past altogether. This person, the past pain, and, and moving on to yet another new option. But this is the messages that I have for you. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. And I will see you next time in the next video. Blessed be.